Women will love to hear this. Believe it or not, thanks to advances in modern medicine, there are now ways to tell what men are thinking and what makes them tick. Faye Flem is the author of The Score, How the Quest for Sex Has Shaped the Modern Man, and she's with me this morning. Good morning, Faye. Hi, Maggie. Love the cover. I was interpreting it. It shows us <laughs> higher on the evolutionary ladder. <laughs> yes. Is that because men are down here and just basically have a one-track mind? I think it's because he's trying to get to her. He's oh, chasing her. Oh, trying to get up to her yeah. skirt, quite I literally. Think so, yeah, some people thought that he could see up her skirt and he's looking <laughs> up the skirt, I guess that. And I sort of thought the ladder might also suggest uh, evolution or even uh, DNA. I get into a lot of genetics in the book. How long did you research this book? Well, I guess I've been looking at men my whole adult life, but in order to understand the male sex, I went back uh, 600 million years in evolutionary That's time. A lot of research. Back to yes, back to the very first males that crawled out of the uh, primordial ooze. And so you set speak. out to answer this question: Are men willing to work, to pay, to sweat, and to risk humiliation in order to get sex, even if there's no prospect of a real relationship? And the answer is. Yes, more or less. I mean, if there's a little prospect, you know, there has to be at least some hope, I guess. But so even if the odds why? are slim. How is this explained in science? Well, some of it goes back to something that actually happened way back there in that primordial slime when the first males made a kind of a trade-off where across the, the whole tree of life, males in general don't invest as much in the offspring and therefore uh, they seem to kind of get the long end of the stick, but in the end there's a, there's a pay, <laughs> there's payback and that they have to work a lot harder to get sex. And, and do you think that men are just wired for sex much more than women are? And this is natural. Well, it kind of goes species by species. It really, there's a lot of diversity. Males are actually really interesting. There are many, many different kinds of males um, throughout the animal world and in the human world, there are different kinds of males. So let's talk about some examples. We get married. Is monogamy natural? In some animals, yes. But in some of the men I studied, I actually came up to New York in doing my research. I sat in on something called a pickup artist boot camp, where men were, they paid upwards of $2,000 to learn how to pick up women and to get them into bed with That's them. That's just seven sad. hours. <laughs> seven hours. That was the, that, but they learned some interesting things in that class. I actually, uh, I had a lot of fun with them. I, don't you think that you're either born with game or not? That you, you can't pay $2,000 and learn it? I think some of these guys made some improvements. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Other things. Um, what's, what's an example of some um, where monogamy is not natural in some species where they're, I don't know, swingers, so oh, to speak? Oh, yeah. There are all, a lot of species. The, uh, the females actually will try to mate. In, in chimpanzees, for example, the females will try to mate with as many males as possible. And uh, in some animals, you know, there's a, the, the males will beat each other up. Uh, in gorillas, they, they, somebody wants to be the alpha male. And, and, uh, and in peacocks, the males will beat each other up. And then they'll all kind of walk around and the, the females will look them over. And then all the females will mate with the same one. You find a lot of men go for the younger women. Is that true in the animal world? Not necessarily. Actually, in some animals, the older the female, the sexier she is. In chimpanzees, actually, the very oldest ones are the hottest. And really? The, the grandma chimps are the ones that they all line up for. That's interesting, because yes. there are close relatives. <laughs> yes, yeah. you think it would be cougars, I guess. Yeah, and there you go. Well, there, there's so many fun examples of this in your book, uh, and it is based on science, which makes it fun and interesting reading. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Maggie. Appreciate your time. If you would want uh, to see an excerpt of the score, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.